WWE's secret fabric that outshines tarps. Stronger, lighter, and, yeah, 100% waterproof. When soldiers in World War II went down over freezing seas or slogged through tropical jungles, survival wasn't about heroics. It was about materials. One fabric born from desperation quietly outperformed everything that came after it. It was lighter than canvas, tougher than nylon, and could shrug off water for years without chemicals or coatings. The military called it ventile. We call it proof that genius doesn't always come from a lab. Welcome back to Prepper's Survival Blueprint, where history meets hardcore survival. If you live for the kind of forgotten tech that still outsmarts modern gear, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button before we dive in, because this one's pure gold from the past. How you can recreate its power. You don't need a lab to make something close to Ventile. With the right materials and a bit of patience, you can create an incredible water-resistant cloth right at home. Start with the highest thread count cotton or linen you can find. We're talking 300 to 400 threads per inch. The tighter the weave, the better. Next, soak it in a mix of boiled linseed oil and beeswax, roughly 10 parts oil to one part wax. Let it absorb, then stretch it flat and let it dry for two or three days. That curing process tightens the fibres and locks in flexibility. You'll end up with a fabric that resists water, breathes naturally and holds up to real-world abuse. If you're working with untreated canvas, try layering thin coats of linseed oil diluted with turpentine. Allow each coat to dry fully before adding the next. Over time, this method builds a flexible waterproof barrier that doesn't peel or crack. It won't replicate Ventile's self-tightening trick perfectly, but the end result comes surprisingly close, and it's 100% natural. Use it for tarps, sleeping cloths, ponchos, or even pack covers. You'll have a durable, sustainable alternative to plastic tarps that lasts for years without losing strength. And unlike synthetics, it doesn't shred into microplastics when it finally wears down. Nature's engineering at its best. What makes Ventile's story so fascinating is that it's proof of a lost kind of thinking. Wartime engineers didn't rely on endless polymers or disposable materials. They worked with what they had – cotton, pressure and precision. They used nature's own strengths instead of trying to fight them. In today's world of ultralight synthetics and so-called waterproof membranes, Ventile still holds its ground. Explorers trust it in Arctic expeditions. Bushcrafters swear by its silence and resilience, and survivalists recognize it as a testament to the power of simplicity. It reminds us that survival isn't always about the latest Gregan. It's a tea, city, nines, subapribun, caud e p inatans. But she tends to announce the sign of Sandazern. The lesson hidden in the threads. This fabric isn't just a technical achievement, it's a mindset. It was born in crisis, built by necessity and perfected under pressure. Every inch of it tells a story about human problem solving at its purest. And that's exactly what survival is, adapting, innovating, and thriving when comfort disappears. Ventile proved that we can still outsmart the elements without relying on modern synthetics. It was high performance long before the word existed. 
For preppers and survivalists, it's not just history. It's a reminder that sometimes the best solutions are woven, not invented. If this kind of deep-cut survival history fires you up, don't just scroll past. Subscribe to Prepper's Survival Blueprint and share this with someone who still believes old-school gear can beat modern tech. Because the truth is, it often does. And who knows? The next time the rain pours and the cold bites, you might just thank those World War II engineers and your own hands for keeping you dry.